Okay, so get this. Yes. I'm a sexologist and I'm a lawyer. How do you blend those two great talents? And everyone wants to know how we met. <laughs> Should we tell them? Yes, yes, I love it. So I was doing this audio podcast in iTunes called Guilty Pleasures, and I was looking for people to interview. And I googled feminist plus NYC, and Betty's name came up. And I couldn't, I thought you were West Coast. Everybody did, yeah. And I'm like, Betty Dotson lives 10 minutes from my house, and I have an interview. <laughs> so I um, call up, and I got your answering machine, and I said, oh, I have this podcast in iTunes, I have over a million downloads, and I did in like four months, it was really popular, and I knew that would get you. Yes, no, the minute she said a million, I don't know, a million, what, I, I wasn't It doesn't even, matter what it is. <laughs> I wasn't even sure. I think I'd done one other podcast in my entire life. I wasn't quite sure what a podcast was. And that's so Betty just to leap in. That's so you. Well, you know, it's like, all right, it's like I'm in, I'm in this space where, you know, I'm getting older and I need to have my information go out into the world, and mm -hmm. I'm much more open to poss all kinds of possibilities. So she makes this appointment. She shows up a day early. I know. I was so excited. Now, now this is the, <laughs> this actually is the story of your life. You're running several days ahead of yourself. Always. I'm always ahead. Yes. As she rings the bell, somebody else was just leaving at that moment. So I got in. Yep. I said, well, you're here. Come on in. So in walks this hot woman. I mean, she looks like a million dollars. I was wearing this white gauzy dress, strapless. Oh. It was summer. And she was pulling this little metal case behind her, and she comes in. Looking like a spy. Oh, <laughs> sets it down, opens it up, puts her laptop on the table, turns everything in, fixes the I'm watching her. Competent? Totally. Bum, 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 bum. And then you asked me, you're like, you're media independent, aren't you? Yes. And I said, yes. And then I said, can you also work a camera? That's right. I forgot about that. She was sizing me up my talent. Oh, yes, cool. she says. My skill set. Oh, yes, she's. I love everything technical. I'm very very comfortable with technology. And I'm going, oh, this, Score. Is, what, this, is, oh, <laughs> this is so what I need. Yes, yes. Also, I opened up with a good question. Like, if you're going to sit down with Betty Dotson and she's going to take your interview, I'm not going to go, oh, Betty, how did you get into masturbation like everyone else does? Everyone asks that. How did so, you get into this business? I went online and found a whole bunch of quotes of things that she said. And I thought, I'll read her the quotes and say, I'm going to read you a whole bunch of things that people attribute to you, and you tell me what you really feel about them. And then, like, the first one, you were like, that's crap. No, my said, I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> so we were up and running. And after about, what was it, five, six, under ten minutes, I reached across the table and I mm -hmm. put my hand out and I said, we're going into business together. Shake on it right now. And you did. I didn't hesitate because I thought that's exactly what I would do. That would be my move. If I see something I want and I want it, I'm going to go for it. So then I knew we'd be good business partners. And you'd been looking for one. Yeah, I'd given up finding one. Well, see, I'd given up too. And I, that, this is a metaphor for life. Yeah. Once you give up, whatever it is. Let go. Just let it go. It'll appear. I swear. It comes to you. It comes to you. Now, everyone wants to know if we're having sex. I know. We have mental sex. Verbal sex, um, business we have sex, sex with all of you. We have sex with all of you. We are sex, sex, sex. But between the two of us, no sex. No sex. No, because me personally, I can't sustain sex after five years. No, and we knew this was going to be a long partnership. And this is it for me. I'm taking this one all the way. <laughs> I'd be a fool not to. And so here I found my ideal partner. It's this. It's a perfect relationships, yes, symbiotic, it, every, we inspire each other, and we're better together than apart. And we love what we do, and we love all of you. Yes, and we the humor, we have so, so much, much fun. We just laugh ourselves silly, but we're also working very hard. She's a, a, a workaholic. I'm a total workaholic. It works. And at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, I'll look over, and she'll look at me, and we're still <laughs> on the queue <laughs> saying, stop, stop, stop. So, yes, I'm very happy with our partnership. Yes. Partnership. And that's how we met. Aren't you guys glad?